Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors <coughs> goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. I also want to acknowledge all the Akiam who are pushing this truth with sincerity, all right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start in uh, Jeremiah 50 and 1. This is a uh, prophecy against against Babylon, which Babylon the Great is is America, all right? So let's go ahead and read it. The word that Yahweh spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet, all right? The Chaldeans are, are Edomites. Um... Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say, Babylon is taken. Bel is confounded. Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. All right, and um, Bel would be um, referring to Baal, which is the spiritual demon satan which has you know been worshipped by the hamites through the egyptians and also by uh, es esau edom because after the egyptians which was originally called mizraim that's the name of egypt in the scripture it was uh um <clears throat> uh, that that realm was taken by edomites that's where you get Cleopatra, you know, from the Ptolemaic dynasty. So, you know, they, these these heathen nations have always um, given uh, homage to Baal or Bel, which in the in in uh, Daniel, the prophet Daniel dealt with Bel and the dragon. You see. He proved that the uh, the the that Bell, the false idols, were not consuming the food, the offerings that the people were bringing to him. It was a hoax, you know. And then uh, the dragon, he fed him some tar and some hair. And I forgot the third thing he gave him, but he he, he put three ingredients, made the the dragon, which was an actual leviathan made it uh, explode all right so he he just he dismantled both of the idols in front of the heathen in babylon ancient babylon all right and now that's what we're doing we're, we're dismantling all of these false prophets and all these false doctrines and philosophies that are of men we're, we're destroying them by the holy spirit you see so Going in, that's what that verse 2 is speaking about. Verse 3. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. Alright, see, so the, the land of the north is going to come up against, you know, you, you're going to have these Edomites fighting against each other. Egyptian versus Egyptian. All right, because Esau Edom is the modern-day Egyptian. And who's going to make the whore desolate? It's going to be the EU, the European Union, all right? Starting out with uh, Magog, you know, which is uh, Russia in the scripture. Verse 4, In those days and in that time, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, the sons of Israel shall come, and they, and they, or I'm sorry, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they shall go and seek Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, their power. See, and that's what we're living in those days. All right. In those days, those are the days we're in, because now you have the nation of Israel. Who right now you're calling us blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, but we're actually the Israelites of the Holy Scriptures. We're coming together on the street corners in all over the planet Earth and prophesying um, 
you know, this true knowledge, according to, uh, you know, the, the holy scriptures. And understanding is not just knowing the scriptures, but understanding the scriptures, all right? Verse 5. <clears throat> they shall ask the way to Zion with their faces th thitherward, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. This is what we're doing, you know, the men that are sighing and crying, the, the one third of the nation of Israel is going to uh, hearken unto this truth, all right? Verse six, my people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains, meaning the governments. There, that's Kamala Harris, you know? She's just telling you to take the jab, you know, trust your enemy. That's what Kamala Harris is telling you to do. This is this is your 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 leadership right now. The whole head is sick. You see, meaning the leadership is sick. We'll get that in a second. <clears throat> but it says my people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Right now you have a shepherd who who is a worthless, uh, useless uh, piece of uh, taking up space in Kamala Harris. You know, where she's she's in line with the enemy. First of all, you don't never trust your enemy. All right, let's get that real quick. Um, let's see. Ecclesiastes 12.10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his, his wickedness. All right, so you don't never trust your enemy. Even if... Your two, your two thirds leadership, which is Kamala Harris, <coughs> is encouraging you to take the jab. You don't take the jab, man. Then we go to uh, Isaiah one and five. It says, "Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint." Meaning the leadership to Israel and all the mind of the, the you know the majority of the people of Israel you so-called blacks Latinos and Native Americans your head is sick your heart is faint your mind is faint meaning you don't you don't have nothing going for you because you have no idea about the destruction that's coming to Babylon America that we're reading about all right right here in Jeremiah 50 let's keep reading Uh, let's see verse 7 all that found them have devoured them and their adversaries said we offend not because they have sinned against Yahweh Bashem Yashai the habitation of justice even Yahweh Bashem Yashai the hope of their fathers see so every, all these nations have devoured the nation of Israel these so called blacks Latinos and Native Americans let, let me get that real quick um Yeah, verse Second Ezra six fifty seven. Prophecy being fulfilled. Second Ezra six <clears throat> fifty seven. It says, And now, O Yahweh, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. All right. So you, you uh, Israelites, the ones you got, you're calling blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You've been swallowed up in all these wrong uh, doctrines, these philosophies that do not pertain to the Holy Scripture, which is your heritage. Instead, you're following all kind of madness. You're being led astray like we read earlier, you know, by your leaders, you know. And now it says these heathen that are devouring you, you know, they devour you by giving you all their bullshit, all, the, all their fake religion, you know, all their bad religion. You know, that's how they devour you, man. They devour you with the gun, these Edomites. You know, constantly you, you're hearing on the on the news about the uh, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans getting uh, murdered in the streets, see, of Babylon, America. You know, 
Lord bless. Keep reading. Second as the 658. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. See? So, you, you, the ones you're calling blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are given into the hands of their enemies, all right? But it doesn't mean you trust the enemy. It doesn't mean you go and take the jab just because he's ruling over you. You know, he's going to tell you all kind of bullshit, but he's got deceit in his heart, man, and lies. Let's get that real quick. In the Maccabees, you know. Let me read one. I think 31, maybe. Let me see. So like you're just looking for this verse. Oh, here we go. Maccabees, first Maccabees 1 and 30. This is that, that Edomites speaking peaceable words to you, all right? It reads, And spake peaceable words unto them, but all was deceit. For when they had given him credence, he fell suddenly upon the city, and smote it very sore, and destroyed much people of Israel. All right? So he's gonna he's gonna destroy you even though he's speaking peaceful words to you it's all deceit you know this is what he's done throughout his whole history you see so you're not supposed to trust your enemy you know let's see verse 8 remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he goats before the flocks. So you're supposed to remove yourself from the Babylonian uh, way, you know, which America is modern Babylon, spiritual Babylon, Babylon the Great, okay? Which is confusion. That's what Babylon means, confusion. America is the land of confusion. Like the elder uh, Gabar always brings out, they even made a song about it in the 80s. I think it's by Phil Collins, Genesis. They called it the land of confusion. It's talking about America. All right. Uh, let's read verse 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. All right, you see, this is talking about the so-called uh, missiles, you know, I mean, I'm so yeah, the, the, the uh, ICBM missiles, intercontinental ballistic missile, all right? All, uh, this is, uh, read what he say. He's gonna, he's gonna, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, which is America, an assembly of great nations from the North Country, which we're talking about the EU, European Union, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. Because when you suit those arrows out, then you can't retract them to come back. You know, it's done. When they make a decision to shoot mi nuclear missiles, you there's no turning back. All right. And let's get let's get the precept in uh, Second Ezra 16. Let's see. There it is right here, 2nd and 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and they shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. See? So the missiles are the only arrows, it's a parable, a metaphor, for these missiles being shot to the ends of the world, all right? Because a regular arrow, obviously, you can't shoot that all the way across uh, you know, from one continent to another continent. But the missiles, they have that technology. Why will they not miss? Because these missiles have uh, GPS, Global Positioning System, you know? And here it is, it says right here. Same thing it said, B, verse 14, second is the 16, 14. Behold, the plagues are sent, which those plagues, those modern plagues, are the nuclear missiles and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. See, just like we read in, in uh, was Jeremiah 50, 
they're not gonna return. You can't bring those things back, man. You know, you can't bring them back. Let's see. See, look at. Let me read it again. There it goes. They can't. They won't return, and they shall set themselves in array against her meaning those nations, the great nations of the north, which is EU, European Union, uh, coming up against Babylon America. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. See, they're not going to come back in vain means in, in uselessness. You know, no, they're not going to be useless. They're going to be very useful. All right. Taking part in the destruction of this wicked ass kingdom. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's see, let's read it. And Chaldea shall be a spoil. All right, Chaldea is, uh, those are Edomites. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith Yahweh Shem Yahashai. All right. So everybody that's going to take from this place or destroy the, hey, you know, it's going to be, uh, you know, they're small among the heathen. The other nations do not like. Babylon America it says verse 11 because ye were glad because ye rejoiced O ye destroyers of mine heritage because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass and below and below as bulls see so you who's the one who, who destroyed the heritage of the Israelites you know who's the one who cut off our heritage let's go get it Psalms 83 Chief enemy always is going to be Esau, Edom. All right, here's the enemies uh, Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, against you hidden ones who are the, the Israelites, the ones that you are calling as blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. They have said, Come up and let us come cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. See, this is the, they, 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 uh, they said, let's get, a, let's get together and cut them off for being a nation. So nobody remembers who Israel is. That's why you think you're black. That's why you think you're Latino. That's why you think you're Hispanic, Native American, because they gave you bywords, which was part of the curses, all right? It says, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. All right, so they're together against you. So that means the tabernacles of Edom, which are the so-called white men, and the Ishmaelites, who you would call them Arabs, the, of Moab, and you got it, those are the so-called Chinese. All right, Hagarines, I believe those are Arabs. Gabal is, uh, I believe, a Hamite, a so-called African. Ammon, Ammon would be uh, Japanese, Amalek, which would be the ones they call Jewish today. The Philistines, which in the inhabitants of Tyre, all right, so those are all, those are Hamite, African nations, all right? So all those, those uh, the, you know, people I just read off are our enemies. And they, they have a plot to, you know, keep our people in darkness, see? But... With that, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off right there over here at the plantation once again. But I'm going to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahakudash. Double honors goes out to the other apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akiyam for pushing this truth with sincerity. Right? Shalom to the elect.